Wow, what a fishery. Striper fishing at his best. Ooh, you hit that jig, just like. Oh my God, buddy. Oh, come on. Yeah, look at that, buddy. Holy oh. moly. Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, baby. That's a big one. How's <laughs> that for a striped bass? The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin Pan Optics, all seeing sonar. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Yes, we're in the sun, the fish in Canada. Today's Fish in Canada episode has me traveling to the beautiful east coast of the nation. Here I'm hoping to lock horns with one of the most belligerent, muscle bound, exotic, gorgeous fish in the entire country the striped bass. There. They've got to be one of the coolest looking fish ever, right? They sure are. That's mama, right there. <laughs> nice. oh, beauty. Local fishing guides Steve Delaney and I are going to be hitting the St. John and Kennebecasis rivers in the province of New Brunswick. I've been striper fishing probably since I was a teenager, so uh, talking about 15 years. We have quite a fishery here for, for big stripers. Average size is probably 15 to 30 pounds. We have a lot of river to cover, including the reversing falls, the Quispampsis area, and now what's considered the most popular striper area on the river, Gatestown to Fredericton. It's all a matter of intercepting the fish on their annual fall migration upriver, where they will ultimately end up next spring in their spawning areas. We started our day at Reversing Falls, the entry point for stripers from the Bay of Fundy, a high current area that loads up with the first run of fish. The last few days, the temperatures have been dropping. The water temperature dropped significantly and uh, cold front moved in. Feels like November even though it's only October. Is it ever? Today yeah. it does, that's for sure. The only thing difference is there's still leaves in the trees. Yeah. So the fish start to uh, migrate upriver for overwintering when the water hits around 10 degrees. And so we decided to do the same thing. Steve knew almost immediately that the fish had moved upriver and it's up to us to follow with the truck and trailer, that is, because I'm not about to take on those crazy rapids with our boat. Our next location was quite a distance upriver from our first, but I knew from past experience, it's a great striper area for big fish. This is big as you are. I love it, dude. What a monster. The hardest part is staying on top of the fish during this lengthy river migration, but the bonus is when you find them, they're hungry and they're ready to scrap. Got one. Nice one. Huh? He hit it just as it was getting bottom. What do we got here? I'm going to loosen my drag off because he hasn't even pulled yet. Going up river. Oh, she's a strong old beast. Nice. Oh, look at the strength of that fish. There's nothing to it. He's not even big. He's no, a nice one, but. The, the small ones have way more energy really, eh? than the big ones. <laughs> They're really spunky. Oh, that's, and I'm going to tell you what, that is the best hit I have had on a jig in a long time. It just <laughs> popped. I thought I hit the bottom. Like I just thought it just chunked into the bottom, you know what I mean? Be barbless. I just be, I know you got it. Hey! <laughs> Look at the color on that fish. Oh God, that's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> I swear that thing was a lot bigger than that because that thing just, ooh, oh. it hit that jig. Just like, felt like that on the rod, you know what I mean? And then and it, it doubles like a, over. Oh. Just like a dump truck. Yeah. yeah. It should pop. There it is. Right? It's just yeah. hanging on to that. Yeah. Awesome, no, nice, buddy. clean. Look at that. Good looking fish. fish. How old would that guy be? Or girl uh, probably there? four to six years old. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the striped bass this size. Uh, there's one year class that is quite dominant, and it's all this this size right, right now. Right. Uh, so that's a good sign for the future. Cool. The St. John River striped bass right back, there. Buddy. Put her back. Nice. That's a good warm up fish. That was awesome. And I they, love it. And they keep moving too. Yeah. So like today, you might get uh, a few 
few bass. Next week, you might not get any here. Right. They just keep moving, and they right. have certain spots they like, and yep. they'll hang out there almost every year, but they just have to hit them when they're on that spot that day. Right on. Yeah. Cool. That was fun. That was awesome. Here we go. Broke the ice. Broke the ice, brother. Striper fishing at his best. Steve Delaney is one of those techie guys, a perfectionist, if you will. Since he has a hard time finding and buying good striper baits locally, he decided to make his own. I started making my own baits just a few years ago because uh, it was hard to find anything that uh, could stand up to the, the big striped bass that uh, we catch here, and, and especially the stripers in the uh, reversing falls and the heavy currents. And uh, it's just easier and, and cheaper to to start making my own tackle and, and quantities and it's interesting it's like a, it's another hobby get you make different colors different variations tweak things a little bit here and there just uh, sometimes that's all the, the difference uh, it takes to catch uh, more fish as an example on this day he suggested i switch to a nine inch clear fleck with a bright chartreuse belly jerk bait and the results were like night and day that's a schoolie. That's a little. Yeah. That's a small little schoolie. This is a perfect little yeah. schooling striper. That's what these guys call schoolies. Look at the uh, lateral line. It's it's a little bit. Uh, it's got the white specks in it. It's a little different. Look at that color yeah. on that fish. Beautiful. I think they like your jerk bait, bud. I think they do. <laughs> I like when a custom bait builder says, "Try this out." Okay, put this one on. That's not working. Try this out. <laughs> oh. Mm. These are on today. Yeah, they're on today for sure. Wow, what a fishery. In about 10, 15 years, these will be the yeah. 20, 30 pounders of the catch. Is that right? Yeah. Another so, little guy, another little schoolie. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, drop right out. I love the pattern on that one. It's, yeah, it's, all it's broken, broken up. They're all, they're all different. So that, look at that, yeah, that one section. Yeah. That's crazy. There we go. They like this thing. I like one they like. <laughs> They're hitting it on that drop. It's so cool. I'll pull him right up. Striper fishing at his best. This is when they get off and you have the barbless hooks, but I'm going to take a chance. I got him hooked in the bottom lip. How do you grab one hooked in the bottom? <laughs> uh, very carefully. Yeah, no kidding. And the little ones are the, the most dangerous for uh, the putting ones, uh, yeah. hooks into you and, and spines. Yeah. Okay, mama. What a nice looking fish. That's gorgeous. Little schoolie. That color's on fire today. Yeah, buddy. Through the white through there, no not, a, not a touch. Really, eh? Yeah. Probably the chartreuse, I'm, I'm going to guess. If it's a color thing, it's probably the chartreuse, yeah. right, I would think. The water's still a little stained from all the rain we had a yeah. few days ago. So right. I'd... I can see that down almost three feet vis, right, I would say. And I think these fish, their eyes are probably so dialed into this water clarity. Oh, yeah, they, they have really good eyesight. Yeah. Okay, mamacita. Oh, it is, yeah. Look at that, buddy! Ooh, that sounded good, no? A little bump, maybe a little heartbeat. Caught up. Oh, geez, that felt like another bump. Really? Fast back. Oh, it is, yeah. He's uh -oh. after you. Uh-oh, coming at you now. Might be. Uh, striper? Well, it might look like it's a mouth hook. Oh. Yeah, it's a striper. Oh, oh, buddy. There we go. That one's going in the net. I don't care what you say. <laughs> he didn't know he was hooked. Uh, that's awesome. Look at this. Oh. Oh, my God, buddy. I got the net in the water if, if he ever comes this way. Oh, he's going towards the motor now. Yeah. We're good for the drift, so we're, we're good. Oh, Steve. <laughs> I know I got to... I'm in the, where is he? Oh, come on, Peter. Ah, look at that, buddy. Holy moly. Yes, sir. I got that. That is an awesome fish. Stevie. Not yeah, a bad that's one. a good one, eh? 
<laughs> you gotta say that's a good one. <laughs> he's, no, he's better than he's not good. bad. <laughs> this is a tank. This is a tank. Oh yeah. Show that to the camera. Oh, Stevie. <laughs> that's okay. a straight bass, bud. Oh, oh, good work. Oh, nice fish, buddy. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful Thickness fish. around that tail. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well. Oh, okay. good stuff, man. Let's get her back in the water. Yeah. How big would that be, do you think? Is it 20, That'd 30? be mid-20s, probably, yeah. at least. Yeah. Let's take a look at that's that. good, heavy fish. Oh, yeah. Good fish, buddy. Good fish. That's a mongol. You've got, you've got a lot of those, haven't you, in your day? I've got a few. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to go, but he doesn't want to let go of my thumb. <laughs> now, what I do, I give him a little tap on the back, and they usually take right off. <laughs> That's an experienced striper fisher yeah. right there. Uh, good work, man. Good job. Nice fish. Yeah. Oh, nice a good fish. way to get slimed anyway. Yeah. Smiley, yeah? Yeah. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay, buddy. Okay. Let's do it. This is a, what a great move, man, from the from that cold morning into here, the shallower stuff, you know what I mean? Might be just a, a little something with the water temperatures, the air temperatures. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think down at the... You know what, the water's colder here, though. It is colder, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But who knows, right? Maybe they're more stable well, in the shallow stuff. When the water gets cold in the river, especially down the falls, they start moving up, getting right over winter. And right. That's the fish move up into the Canvacasis. They move up the St. John River, up to the estuaries and the, the marshes. That, and it's that time. They, yeah, exactly. Burst, right? yeah. yeah. The St. John River striped bass spawning migration is an interesting one. Some of the fish start out during late summer to early fall in the Atlantic Ocean along the U.S. eastern seaboard, making their way to the St. John River mouth in the Bay of Fundy. They next travel upstream to the St. John and Canabacasis rivers. The fish that ultimately choose the St. John can continue upriver through Gatestown and all the way past the city of Fredericton to their first major blockade, the Mactaquack Dam. An interesting sidebar to this, recent studies have shown that with rising water temperatures due to global warming, striped bass that used to spawn in areas like the Roanoke River in North Carolina, for example, have been forced to move north towards the Bay of Fundy, seeking optimum cooler water temperatures needed to complete a successful spawn. This ability to adapt, trying to keep the species alive, shows the complexity of these seemingly simple creatures we call fish. On this portion of my striper trip, Steve and I were fishing a tributary on the St. John River in where a recent barbless hook law had been introduced for the protection of local sturgeon. Great for the fish, and up in the odds for stories of the one that got away. Or in my case, the two or three that got away. Oh, the boil, that, that was a good fish. That felt solid, buddy. Yeah, that was a big one. That felt really solid. Son of a gun. I could tell. Just caught a couple small ones, I could tell. That one stopped me. It was a whole different feeling. <laughs> By using a big, stiff, eight-foot swim bait rod, coupled with heavy, no-stretch braided line, and doing battle with these giants in flowing tidewater, keeping them on wasn't an easy chore. Good call. Steve told me where to cast. I cast, and... We hooked up. Straight over towards that yellow tree. Good call, Steve. No, I need to chase him. Not yet. He's really cooperating. Nice she, he, she. Until he sees the boat. Yeah, exactly. Then he's going to be gone. Yep, he's going to make that run. Oh, it's a good sized fish right here. That's no schoolie, Steve. <laughs> this is crazy. These fish are incredible. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was only five feet of line there. This is a t I can't believe it. Uh, wow, what a shame. That was a beast. Wow. Let's see if we can get another one on. Yep. Let's do it again. <sighs> Got one. Yeah, it's a nice big one. one. Oh, That's a big baby. one. That's a big one. That's a big one. It's a bigger one. Today's fantastic striped bass fishing took place on the St. John River in New Brunswick. To get there, I traveled east on Highway 401 to Highway 20 in Quebec. I next turned southeast on Highway 30, which eventually joined back to Highway 20. 
I then went south on 185, which turns into 85, and then joins Highway 2. I finally arrived at my destination, the Days Inn and Conference Center, in the friendly town of Oromocto. From here, I could choose to travel either down or upstream on the very productive St. John River to access this unique species of fish. Got one! Yeah, it's a nice one. one. Oh, this baby! One. This is a big one. That's a big one. This is a bigger one. Oh, boy. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, look at Oh, boy. You feeling like... Uh, get her off lock, Steve. Take... Oh, yeah. Get her off lock quick. If you can. You might want to chase him just a bit. Oh, look at the water splashing back there. Ooh, this is a good one. Stay on, big fella. Oh, he's going again. I'm going to have to go this side now. That's okay. This is just like musky fishing. This is so cool. Like the excitement level, especially when you're casting them. Wow. I get to, oh, here comes Joe. He just come up to the top. Look at that. But I got to tell you something. These fish are tougher than musky. I, I know they are right now. I've caught musky before and I just, I've been very few stripers. Saltwater fish fight like crazy. Eh? They just, they do. there's just something about it. Whoa, I hope he engulfed it. He just popped it so nice. Take it easy, Peter. And just when you think they, they're worn out and they come to the boat and they see that boat for the first time. <laughs> oh boy. They usually do that last little run. I'm hoping you can scoop them on that run. <laughs> we got a big enough net. We got a big enough, oh that's a nice fish. That's a good tail on that fish. Wow, this river is just a total amazing fishery. Muskies. Striper, smallmouth. There she is. Oh my God, Steve, that's a nice one. That's a real nice one. Holy moly. Look at this fish, Stevie. Oh my God. Bass like that are why we use 50, 60 pound fluorocarbon leaders. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, he's, yeah. he tries to dig in the bottom too, right? Oh, they dig in the bottom. They got the, the gill plates are sharp. They don't have teeth, but what they do have is, is uh, the teeth are just like real rough sandpaper. Not just it'll just chew good. through that leader or braided line. He might be at the bottom, thin. guys. I don't know. Oh, here he's coming up. Okay. Wow. This is incredible. Look at this fight. This is ridiculous. On an October day with the water temperatures are 48 degrees. Air temperatures aren't much better than that. And I'm sweating right now. Ooh, don't do that. Okay, Stevie. He's pretty I gotta, well done now. He looks like he's getting close, eh? He's getting tired. Holy moly, these things are wicked strong. It's just on the outside, too. Come on, tie her out, big boy. Here he comes, buddy, here he comes. It's a big hoop. Yes, guy! There we go. Nice one. I am spent, buddy. <laughs> you are the man. You are the striper man. That's a brute. Is it? She's a good one? Oh, it's a good, chunky fish. I hope so, it's going to make me look like a little wimp. Oh. oh, that's a good fish, folks. I am spent. Oh, yeah. Here, I, I'll, I'll sort of help you. Or are you bring him in? How big is this fish? Oh, he's over 30 pounds. Whoa! He won't let go of my thumb either. <laughs> I was up for a striped bass. Steve Delaney, the, the striper king, puts me onto a beast. Oh, Stevie. Look Beautiful at that. Fish. Oh. Oh, so hey, look at that, bud. I caught one almost that big last week. <laughs> I'm glad you said almost that big. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna probably try to revive this fish. I gotta drop her in the water, see what she does. I'll try and hold it head first. Steve might have to come up with me on this one because it's a lot of fish. Whoa! There, this is perfect. Now. That's energy still. So see, I will put her her head in the water like this, with the current blowing this way. Look at her tail going really nice already. Fins are out good. I'm telling you, folks, the east coast of Canada is not that far away from well, from central. I mean, Ontario. My drive. It was a day's drive, not even a real, real long drive. To get fish like this, this is an exciting moment for me right here. Oh my God. 
Okay, Mama, you want to go? Let me give her. What do you give her a little shot in the, a little on the pat back? on the back? Yep. Sometimes I'll wake them up and they'll take right off. Let's try. <laughs> I didn't have to hit her. Look at this friggin' no. thing. I am just. I'm sweating. I am sweating. Oh, how awesome is that? New Brunswick. Yes. Today's hotspot is known for big, fall run striped bass. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. This area not only has stripers, but sturgeon as well. Sadly, unethical anglers have been snagging and keeping sturgeon while fishing for stripers. This has brought in new strict fishing regulations like single hooks and barbless hooks only. Make sure you read the regs before you fish here. If you're looking for an area with no special hook restrictions, then the stretch on the St. John from Fredericton to Gagetown has awesome striper fishing as well. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin Panoptics, all seeing sonar. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Closed captioning for this episode was brought to you by FishingCanada.com, the gateway to your next fishing adventure.